Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Big Jepper here at uh, Liverpool Street Station. Just got off the train and uh, making my way to uh, Barbican Centre. Yeah, it's not far from here at all. So uh, I'll tell you more about this place. It's a very interesting place. Uh, um, I'll let you guys know more about it when I get there. But first, here yeah, where we are, Liverpool Street Station, and uh, I'm going to make my way to uh, the Barbican. Very interesting. Stay tuned and watch. All right. Yeah, like I said, uh, let me show you guys this house. It's beautiful square right here. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm uh, going to check out this place called the Barbican Centre, which is a very beautiful place. Um, I always, always, almost get lost. Nine out of ten times when I go there, I get lost. But uh, what on the street is uh, Barbican Centre was designed to be that way. So the, the en entrance to the place is disguised. And reason being that, uh, well, it was uh, built after the World War II. And it was sort of to replicate the London Wall. Uh, so therefore, the architect decided uh, to sort of uh, hide the entrances, build in such a way that uh, makes it impossible for people to roam around the Barbican Centre. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, exiting this square now. <laughs> Hopefully we won't get lost this time. And. Uh, off to um, London Wall actually this uh, street right here this uh, the London Wall which was built long time ago for defense but obviously um, the wall is no longer there but uh, it was here so this street maintain that name London Wall and now uh, the Barbican is just uh, off off it okay it's the entrance that's always uh, giving me hard time but uh, hopefully I'll make it this time there's uh, beautiful cafes restaurants theaters and really it's a very very interesting place uh, wait, I'm going to show you. I can't wait to sit at the um, the waterfront cafe and uh, enjoy a cup of coffee or something. You know, I haven't been here for about five years or so. But recently, uh, I went past the place and I thought, you know, I'll come check it out. Yeah. There is actually um other train stations around which is uh, the Barbican and the small gate but uh, I decided to come via Liverpool Street station yeah it's always nice I like Liverpool Street 13 <laughs> what did I say 13 <laughs> Liverpool Street station yeah I like it it's beautiful yeah so as you can see on the wall there London Wall East Central too. So basically we in the central East Central to be exact. 
Yeah, and that's uh, the tube station there, train station. I could have come from there. But I always uh, enjoy the walk from Liverpool Street. Okay. I need to find a way of getting over that sort of a bridge. It's not a bridge, it's just a highway, high rise walk path. Uh, because the Barbican is, uh, there are no roads there leading inside. It's sort of a high rise walkway. As you can see, this one as well here. So you just walk up in the sky and. You know what? I'm gonna just ask someone to direct me because I, 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 it's getting late and it's getting dark and uh, I don't want to mess about trying to find the entrance to the place so you see like this whole buildings here is a huge huge center with uh, lots of things happening um, so yeah, literally right now I'm at the Barbican but to get to the real center where everything happens is uh, tricky and uh, yeah, trying to find a way there See, there's a school here, restaurants, cafes, a music school I think for girls, I'm not sure if it's mixed. See? That's it right there guys, that's the Barbican Center. Buildings, towers, whatever. This whole building is also a residential home. Uh, yeah. We're gonna get a close up of the writing. There you go. The Barbican. Okay. Now. wondering if I so what I need is to get up there actually I think some of the pathways is just for the residents but uh, there's a communal area which is open to the public as well and that's where I need to access hmm. how do I do this <laughs> Did you see that? That's London for you. People are not friendly, man. I asked them a question, they just walked by smiling. <laughs> I'm not friendly in London. Maybe I look scary or something, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try and go that way. I can see stairs there and that probably will be the entrance uh, this is the um, London wall I was talking about so literally this place was built of uh, London wall and the wall used to be exactly here all the way across the city Interesting. See? Let's do this. So, literally, that 
is the the old London wall there's still a little piece of it left and I'm not sure if it's the original or it was uh, rebuilt just to keep it but yeah that's the uh, London wall right there I don't know so much history about the wall but uh, let's see what this place says nothing interesting here yeah so this looks like the original world I was here you see how, how many stones and bricks we used to create this wall so it was impenetrable and uh, I think there was some form of arches where you could sort of uh, stand from the inside of London and see who is coming if the enemies who are attacking and then you obviously attack them I think those are this I'm not sure but anyway going to touch the wall in it yeah so this right here is the London wall which was I think built to protect London from who was it mainly well all intruders really but I, uh, I'm not so sure about um, the history of it, and I think it was destroyed in the World War II by the Germans. Uh, if you know, correct me in the uh, comment section. Yeah, so this is sort of a garden here just to relax. Got the fountain. Come here and chill. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way to the actual, well, not actual, because this whole, all this area is Barbican Centre. So I'm gonna try and make my way inside. See all those buildings there, all this complex shown. This is Barbican Centre, so I'm gonna go up these stairs and I think that's where to lead me inside jackpot so yeah more get station but we can center that way I need to go this way yeah so I could have gone and trying to uh, more it but like I said I always prefer going uh, via Liverpool Street What a beautiful place, look at that.
Look at those beautiful gardens down there. Uh, that must be like uh, private for people, residents of this area. Because, uh, yeah, basically uh, the Barbican Center is um, a council housing project that was built after the World War II when um, most of London was bombed by the Germans and uh, plenty of accommodation was required especially for the uh, middle class working city people so as a result this area was built see how magnificent it is no roads, quiet you know, there are lots of galleries here shops, cafes um, bars, theatres conference halls so basically, um, yeah, the theatres yeah, and uh, the halls are usually used for classical music uh, contemporary performances yeah it's any magnificent look at it I have no direction so I'm just sort of gonna wander around for a bit and then uh, I'll try and get to where I need to get to exactly and that's the uh, waterfront cafe which is a beautiful very beautiful cafe in front of a water fountain and yeah that's where I need to get to but for the pleasure of viewing I just want to show you guys this area first the best I can look at all that all you can hear is like wind and the sound of water from afar I don't know if you guys can hear this now um, no loud car noises and no basically it's a nice quiet place okay let me try and get to the other side of it Hello. Yeah, there are also cinemas here. These uh, I think it's three cinemas here. Uh, I've been to the cinema a few times here. I'm just not far from here. There's uh, the Museum of London. I'm not sure if he's still existing. I think it's no longer there. But uh, yeah, I think I read at one point that uh, they sort of shut it down and they are moving it to some other place so basically guys this is where I need to go this is where I need to get to down there somewhere video please give it give you a like you know and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new to my uh, channel or if you haven't yet it's always appreciated thank you
So these yellow lines is uh, directions, sort of uh, shows you where it's go you're going. But I didn't read the start of the yellow line, so I'm not sure where I'm going. Uh, I'll, I'll just follow the yellow line and uh, hopefully I'll get to where I need to. Okay. Far end there, and that's the music school, Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Babican Centre, I'm on the right track. Nice. Let's check out this area first. What do you think of London City guys? So yeah, uh, I'm on the Gilbert Bridge right now, which is uh, over this uh, waterworks down there. 